Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles Season 4. Today we are in the 23rd episode of the series and we have Tiasa here with us who has been recently placed at Treedence Analytics as a part of her campus placements at VIT. She is here to share her interview experience with us but before we talk to her, let's look at the eligibility criteria. So all students belonging to all BTEC branches were eligible provided they had a 70% or a 7 CGPA in their 10th, 12th as well as in their pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Now let's go ahead and talk to Tiasa and understand her experience interviewing for this company. Hi Tiasa, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. So would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah, sure. First of all, thank you for having me here. I'm Tia Shajala, currently pursuing BTEC in Information Technology from BIT Bangalore with a CGP of 9.18. And uh, last month on 29th of August, I got placed in Shredens as an analyst. So that's pretty much about me. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much. Uh, you can now tell us about the placement process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Yeah, okay. So uh, there were basically five rounds. The first round was an online assessment which took place in PRP. Okay. In that round, we had like some 30 MCQ questions which took place in Hacker Earth platform. Okay. And uh, the MCQ questions were about a technical knowledge, SQL, uh, then CN, OS, aptitude questions okay. and event puzzles. Okay. And after about uh, uh, 30 MCQ questions, we had a guesstimation question. And uh, after that guesstimation question, we had a coding question where, uh, um, which is like of medium level. And I got like all the test cases passed. Okay. And after that process, we uh, had the second round, which is a communication assessment. Okay. So the result of the first round, it came within one or two hours. Hmm. And then the communication assessment, which was from our hostel only. Hmm. Uh, then after the communication assessment, we had uh, our final interview with shortlist. So uh, uh, it came out at some 9 p.m. We had our interview at an auditorium at 8.30 in the next day. Okay. So uh, we had our next two technical interviews and one HR. So in the technical interview, they asked uh, questions to me about DSA. They asked me to code, uh, to, to check my coding skills. And that they asked my understanding about analytics role, what AIML uh, is and what's the, how is the backbone of the society now. And uh, about uh, projects, they went in detail about all my AIML projects and also everything basically about my resume and my understanding of AIML. That was uh, pretty much about the two technical rounds okay uh the each technical round were uh, for of some for some 45 minutes each and then finally i uh, was selected for the hr round okay they always ask questions about me and about my family and uh, why i would like to join shredins and uh, about my co-curricular activities which i do and everything like okay that. so after that round i was finally selected for the analyst room that's pretty much about the process Okay. Okay. That's great. Uh, thank you so much and congratulations again. So you mentioned the communication mm -hmm. role, right? So that is, uh, what was, uh, how was it yeah. like? So was it like you had to... The cam communication yeah. assessment. Yeah, it was basically uh, the motto of that was to check the speaking and listening skills of ours. Okay. So there were like uh, many audio clips. Uh, which we had to listen for once and then we had to speak it speak it out loud that what we heard with, without any mistakes so okay. that would know our listening skills and also there were questions related to grammar and hmm. uh, uh, they were asked to uh, uh, check the fluency of our English and everything so the okay. communication round was about that okay okay and uh, the uh, technical rounds both of them had similar kind of format or was maybe one coding and one uh, yeah. based on that or something like that Okay, so the first uh, technical interview was uh, based on coding, DSA, and resume and projects. Okay. And the second interview round were was most most mostly about my understanding of AI. Image. Okay. Uh, there, I was also asked how will I proceed to collect the data, which tech stack I use okay. to clean the data set, then will I proceed with the training and testing the whole process they wanted to know. Okay. My knowledge about AI. Image. Right. That right. was about the second technical okay okay that's great thank you so much uh do you have any suggestions for your juniors or anything that you learned from your experience that you'd like to share okay so my suggestion to the juniors would be uh first of all to maintain a good cgpa which is like 
nine plus is really good and it it would be very it would be better if you maintain a cgpl of 9.2 plus okay. because at the initial stages of shortlisting and everything the cg plays a uh, cgpl plays a very important part mm. and uh, rather than maintaining a cgpl uh, you should also have a very good resume a clean and well rounded resume uh, with uh, lots of projects uh, which should be mostly based on real time real time project or real life problems and uh, internship experiences which will like add more uh completeness to the resume and more hmm. value to your resume and hmm. with a good ATA score also so and um, i would also like to suggest that rather than the academic part uh you should also focus on uh your extra co-curricular activities because it will or not only make your resume well rounded and also have your soft skills uh ready like communication skills then team uh, teamwork leadership skills that will help uh will give you a like a competitive edge in the placement process so that's pretty much about if you have all all, all of this then you are very much ready for the placements okay that's great thank you so much thank you for sharing your experience and all your suggestions i'm sure they're going to help many people thank you thank you thank you all for watching if you did like this video if you found this helpful please do like share and subscribe and all the best on your placements thank you all for watching